This is a filter egg, and we use this filter egg because of its lightweight and irregular shapes. It traps turbidity really good. That way, we keep the turbidity off of the carbon that you're going to see. Because the carbon, once it gets coated, it gets weak, and that's part of the reason why it depletes so fast. Then it goes through a KDF. KDF is uh, a zinc copper alloy which kills live algae, fungi, and bacteria in the water because carbon is one of the most perfect breeding ground there is for bacteria, so you want something that's going to sterilize your carbon. That is one of the reasons we use this. Plus, it puts electric charge in the water. It gives you a live water. That's the second stage it goes through. Then it goes through activated coconut shell carbon and centaur carbon. We use two different kinds of carbons because this activated coconut shell carbon is really good for chlorine, trihalomethanes, taste and odor, that. The centaur carbon is better at chloramines, DBPs, fluoride, because it's a catalytic carbon. Okay? And that's why we use two carbons. This carbon here, because it's so expensive, is one of the reasons you don't find it in most residential water systems. But if you don't have it in there, it's not going to remove fluoride, and it sure as well ain't going to last as long. This is KDF-55. KDF-55 is the same as the KDF-85 that we showed you uh, earlier, except that one's better at iron and hydrogen and sulfites than uh, this one. Remember that the KDF has electric charge in it, which actually kills live algae, fungi, and bacteria, and that's why we put it at both ends of the carbon. That way, when the water's coming through into your house, it sterilizes the carbon, and when it back flushes and cleans itself. Remember, I said there's no filters to change, no service calls to pay, and this is part of the reason why you don't have that. The carbons will last and last and last, as long as that's in there before and after them. Then we go through a garnet. Rock garnet is going to polish off your water, make it nice and crystal clear, you know, make it real potable, presentable to you. And it's going to help the same as the rock to keep you from losing any water pressure. If these two weren't in there, you would definitely lose some water pressure, and of course your water wouldn't come out quite as clear. This is the media that's used in the pH tank. Magnesium oxide and calcium carbonate is what's used to dissolve in the water. So if the city's taken care of it and your pH is 7, 2 and above, it won't dissolve. But when, as it drops down below that, okay, it will definitely dissolve and it holds your pH around 8. Seven and a half to eight, sometimes even a little bit better. It all depends on where you're at. But it's always around eight all the time, no matter what the city does. So you have good, healthy water coming through all of your lines, hot and cold, through the entire house. And as you can see, it looks just like the natural hydrological cycle of the earth. But like I said earlier, we had to go with enhanced materials like the centaur catalytic carbon and the activated coconut shell and KDF and stuff like that in order to remove the man-made chemicals and the fluorides and stuff that we put deliberately in the water that we don't need in there.